Welcome back YouTube. In this video, we're going to do our Golden Eagle conversion for uh, LS VTEC mod. So the first step, I doubt you'll be able to read it very well, but intake side, exhaust side, and it's that hole. So this are the, these are the intake ports. So it's this little hole right here. We're going to tap with that tap and then put one of these plugs in. After you've tapped it with this tool, make sure you use lube. You don't just, there's just either tapping grease or wheel bearing grease works too, but you gotta go slow. If you don't know how to tap, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube on how to do that. After you're done with that, put thread sealant on the threads and we're gonna screw this down. Make sure it's below the deck and make sure it's tight. Next, take the dowel pins, and this is the, the exhaust side, is the one with the dipstick. You put the dowel pin, one there, and one over here. Alright, after you put those dowels in, reinstall the head. Make sure you put the ARP grease on your nuts. Then fondle your nuts for a little bit, and then uh, put them all on, and then we'll start torquing them down. So I'm torquing these down uh, for the very, very last time, and I'm going a little bit overkill, but I'm doing 20, 40, 60, 80, no, sorry, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, but you really only have to do 20, 40, 60, 80. That's what I meant. So we're going to start here, go here, up here, cut across, diagonal, up, go here, cut across here, over here, then cut across, then cut across, across, and then here, and then you're done. I don't know why more people don't buy these covers or get them so they don't have an excuse saying they don't fit so this is VTEC head right LS block all you have to do to get the top VTEC cover in is that right here see where the paint got scratched that's where it was hitting this cover so now look at this fits perfect and guess what your timing belts not all out like a homeless fuck here we have the gates racing timing belt um, it'll come blue that's the only color it comes in factory sprockets factory bolts here um, we come down we got this part powder coated so it looks all nice new water pump Everything else is new, new tensioner, new spring here. Um, so on the LS VTEC, the VTEC belt is too long. You cannot use it. The LS belt works. It's just a, a smidge too short, like, like barely anything. So anyways, if we look here, let's see if we can focus. There we go. You see that line here? That line lines up with... Oh, come on, focus. Dang, come on. There we go. There's an arrow right there. That arrow lines up with that line. Then these two, they say up. Those need to be up. Um straight up so then you what I do is I put zip ties around here 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 then I line up because they're not gonna want to line up right away then you have to take a 14 millimeter wrench to turn the second one to line them up then put a zip tie zip tie zip tie over here then you come down <clears throat> and then you want this one to be tight right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go um, past, so you're going to line it up, 
it's not going to want to go in the teeth. So then what you do is you go past clockwise, past this line, uh, arrow with the line. You line up the very first set that'll hold. Then you have a second person just hold their finger right here. Then you take, turn the crank backwards so this is tight and it will line back up to the arrow. Then you leave this undone. Just hook the spring, unscrew this. Then you slide the belt over here and on the sprocket. Then you, while the person's still holding it on the crank so it doesn't move, you push this against the motor, thread it, and then you use a little bit of tension, well, yeah, then you use a little bit of tension here with a screwdriver or whatever, lift it up, then tighten this down. Then spin it around four times till everything lines back up. These two are up, and this is lined back up with the arrow. Check the tension. See if it's like crazy. You don't want it to be crazy tight, okay? But you want it to be tight. Um, if it's too tight, then just loosen this with your drill. It'll move a little bit, tighten it, do it again. Spin it four times, check it out, see how it feels. And that's about it. Um, we ordered the harmonic balancer. We ordered the fluid dampener, uh, street version. So it has belts for AC. It has belts for alt, uh, power steering, alternator, all the stuff instead of just the alternator. If you get the race version, it, it's only good for just the alternator. Then I painted it. And um, looks pretty good. Here's all the covers mounted up. It all fits really nice. So this cover is the LS bottom cover. That's all you need for the bottom, the LS bottom cover. The top is the VTEC rear cover and the LS, I mean, sorry, the VTEC front top cover. So these two are the VTEC covers. This one's the LS cover. And it all lines up. Everything lines up. So Honda used their brain, yet all these poor kids building these Hondas constantly have their timing belt out so that when they're driving, all the road salt gets kicked up or whatever. And they're just dumb. I don't understand. You can just use the stock covers. You don't even have to buy them brand new like we did. You could probably get them five bucks each. That's fifteen dollars. Doesn't make any sense. Then just use some new hardware, so it looks nice. Order the new gaskets. They, they sell the gaskets on. Uh, if you just Google Acura OEM parts, you can get a hold of all this stuff. On the intake side. We need to remove this plug, which intake side, it's that plug up there. So we're going to remove that and install one of these two fittings. You're going to use the smaller one that does not have the o-ring, put thread sealer, tighten it down with a 19 millimeter box wrench or a 19 millimeter deep socket you can pick. Take the adapter plate, put thread locker on the one with the O-ring. Technically I guess you don't have to but I'm being extra safe. Tighten it in by hand. I didn't have a box wrench large enough so I just used some channel uh, adjustable channel locks. Not vice grips, adjustable channel locks. If um, you know, if you don't have a socket that big, then just um, use whatever you got. Tighten it down. Let the RTV dry. Now, when we install this plate, we're gonna want it clocked so that the feed line comes between this little hose and it comes in between here. So it comes up, around, under the intake manifold, and screws into the head. 
First, I am going to put the same Right Stuff RTV on the outside of this O-ring. So it's going to be touching this O-ring and then from the, the rest of this flat area next to the O-ring. And then I'm going to tighten this on. So it'll look something like this. I don't ever want this to leak at this spot. Once you tighten it down, the RTV will smush out. Take your finger, rub it nice and smooth. Now let this dry. The spare port can be used for oil pressure or um, might be able to use it for oil temperature, but oil temp you would want to take from the pan. Um, but for our case, currently, we just have a plug. We're going to plug it. So we're going to RTV it and plug it. Tighten it in. Smear the RTV and clean it off. This finishes off. Focus. Focus, please. Okay. <laughs> this finishes off our um, VTEC conversion kit. After you tighten this, see how the hose is coming? So it's in between the pipe and this plug here. It's in between here and here. And then it's going to run up. The intake manifold is going to go on in between there. And then we tighten it here and here. So... This is, I'm sort of just holding it right now, but this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to come up and around and attach there. Let you get a look from underneath. So now the VTEC should kick right in. Snap your head back, fool. Thank every. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Um, next video, we're going to be rebuilding our VTEC solenoid. We got all the junk over here. Uh, we got all kinds of crap in here. We have the VTEC solenoid housing is powder coated. And we also have this uh, water neck powder coated. So those will go in next episode. Till next time, wrench on, guys.